Hello, today we're gonna to be learning how to charge, discharge, and cycle nickel metal hydride and nickel cadmium batteries with the T180 charger. And if you found the video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. We'll be posting new videos every week. All right, so now we'll move on to charging a nickel metal hydride battery. Uh, this charger can charge, discharge, and cycle up to one to 16 cells of a nickel metal hydride or nickel cad battery. Um, so in the main menu here, just finished up with the LiPo, so we'll go over to the nickel metal hydride right here. It has three different options uh, for the charge, discharge, and cycle. So today I will be showing you how to charge this battery pack. It's a nickel metal hydride, uh, 3000 milliamps, 7.2 volts. And to start off, we'll plug that in to this connector here. That's in, click, there we go. All right, and we'll go into the charger here. We'll start with the charging it. Uh, it's gonna be very similar to what we were doing with the lithium, uh, lithium polymer. So right away, we'll go down and change the uh, capacity. So this is 3000 milliamps. Go up to that, click enter, go to 3000. A little more. Click enter. Uh, three amps, it's also a 1C charging, so that'll be just fine. Uh, charging mode, manual, you can change that to auto or manual. We'll keep it a manual for now. Um, the delta peak, this is for um, stopping the charging. Five uh, millivolts is uh, just fine for this application, so we'll keep it there. And you have the option to turn the trickle, char the trickle charge on or off. Uh, we'll leave it off for now. So that is all good to go. So we'll just click enter. It's gonna do a battery check. Everything's okay. So we'll hit confirm and it should start charging. All right, so again, we got the, uh, the time it's been charging at the top here, uh, the capacity that has been added to the battery, the current that it's charging at, we're at three amps right now and the voltage of the battery pack, charge power and the stage of the charge. Go down here, uh, similar readouts here, we have the input voltage. Um, so we still have the same delta peak there, that won't change. Uh, the safety timer and the same here, we have the internal resistance and uh, the peak temperature. All right, and then we can go back to the uh, graph, and it'll give you, again, a live readout of the uh, charging. All right, so now that we're done with the charging, I'll show you how to discharge your nickel metal hydride battery. Click on discharge here. Go down to end voltage. So you don't wanna drop below 0.9 volts per cell. So in order to do that, we'll just do multiply 0.9 times the six cells that we got here. So that's uh, 5.4, click enter, go up to 5.4 volts. There we go, click enter again. We have the capacity. So we'll change that to 3000 again. All right, and it's discharging at a rate of three amps. That's one C, so that's perfectly fine. We'll hold down enter. Battery check turns out good, and we'll click start. And now it's discharging. And the last option is, uh, for the nickel metal hydride is the cycle option. So this is going to be a charge and discharge for the battery pack. So again, we'll go down to the capacity, enter the capacity, Got 3000 again. Click enter. Charge rate, three amps, that's all right. Discharge rate, 0.1 amps. Uh, we can change that. Let's, uh, let's go to three amps as well. Uh, the discharge end voltage, we'll need to change that to 5.4 volts again. There we go, click enter. 
And then down here, uh, you can charge, discharge, or you can do the opposite. So if uh, your battery is low and you want to charge it and then discharge it, or vice versa, you can do that. Uh, we'll do a discharge first. Uh, you can do choose the number of cycles. So this would be two cycles. Let's just do one for now. And the delay timer, let's increase that. Let's do 20 minutes. That's the recommended amount of time. So that's all good. Hold down enter. Battery checks OK. Click start. And it will start discharging. And you can confirm that by looking at the graph. Voltage is going down, so it's discharging first. Once it gets to the, um, the minimum voltage that you set, it'll start charging right after. All right, so the first question we got here for the nickel metal hydride batteries, uh, can I use this charger to charge my Prius battery? So we get this question a lot. The, although the Prius uh, hybrid battery is nickel metal hydride, it is not designed for the T180 here. The T180 charger is designed for battery packs, nickel metal hydride battery packs of one to 16 cells, uh, such as this one, this one, uh, six cells. So it's a lot smaller than your Prius battery. Prius battery is usually uh, 28 to 38 cells. So on a much bigger scale. Next question, what current should I set to charge my nickel metal hydride slash nickel CAD battery? So for the charge current, uh, we usually recommend to follow the formula C here. Uh, it's the same as the LiPo battery pack. You're going to be taking the capacity of the battery, multiply that by uh, 1C. So for example, this battery pack here is 3,000 milliamp hours or uh, 3 amp hours. So you're going to take the 3, multiply it by 1C to get a max charge rate of 3, amp, uh, 3 amps. All right, moving along. How low can I discharge my nickel metal hydride or nickel cadmium battery packs? Uh, so for these type of battery packs, we usually recommend to not discharge below 0.9 volts per cell. This is to avoid damage to the cell. And just remember to recharge after you have discharged battery pack. The last question we have here, is it necessary to set rest time between each cycle? Yes. With, um, during the charging and discharging, of the battery, the battery tends to heat up and without letting it cool down between each cycle, the heat inside the battery will damage it over time and reduce the lifespan of the battery. So we recommend you let the battery rest for about 20 to 30 minutes in between charging and discharging. That's it for this tutorial. Hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, please comment down below and we'll be there to answer any questions you have. And I'll see you next week.